Hi everybody, welcome back to Time Predicts and today you've got two numbers to choose from these angel numbers 111 and 444. So just see which one are you getting attracted to. Pile number one is 111 and 444. These are your guidances, your predictions, what you wanted to know and this is your current situation or whatever guidances or predictions or any decision that you wanted to make or any confirmation that you uh, you know wanted or you needed any kind of message is here. So I'm going to start with the pile number one, pile number one. This is 111 for you. Let's see what are the messages. This is 111 and the messages for your pile are. So let's see what guidance is you needed right now. What did you want to know? Wow, attachment with someone. I was just going to start, you know, when I started uh, with the uh, uh, reading, I was going to say that this is something to do with a twin flame or a soulmate happening here. So this is an attachment to a person, extreme attachment to the person where it's very difficult for, uh, you know, your, it's difficult for yourself to let go. Look at this. I mean, you know, you're very attached to the person and you'll always be bound. I'm going to use the word bound because I can see the chain. So even if the person is toxic, even if the person, uh, it's a third party thing, you know, it's outside, you you know your relationship or your marriage i mean this is somebody you are really attached to and um, i feel with this person you are yourself you know you do not wear that mask it is also with someone you, it's not necessarily a third part uh, you know after um, you know uh, outside marriage or something it's your uh, twin flame your soulmate the person you are with is a deep attachment i'm going to use the word deep and with this person you always you know yourself you behave um, you know the way you are you show the world the real you in the sense with this person you show the person who you are uh, you do not wear a mask with this person because you like being uh, yourself you know and this person brings out the best in you is another message that I get too many cards I let's take this card because this does belong in the reading it this fell out of my hand and can you see the beauty of it there's 11 in here I just shuffled it outside and look at this 11 you've got two 11s here the person is your world you're very close to the person. I mean, a deep attachment. It's like an old, uh, it's old souls. I mean, you were together in the past life. This is also a card where I, I think you're wishing for something. You're wishing that, uh, you know, whatever is far away comes to you or wanting to achieve something. A little That's a little far away, whatever the achievement you want in life. But this is the beauty of it. I mean, uh, guys, if you've chosen one, 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 I really want you to wish on something because uh, definitely um, it's going to be fulfilled. And I'm sure you've been seeing one, one or 111 or in any way you know you've been seeing 111 so this look at this this is abundance of wealth it's a wealth of ideas it's wealth i mean a lot of love you know look at this it's it's glowing with happiness the whole you know whole thing it's a fulfillment i get the word fulfillment it's a very positive card and this is balance this is beautiful water and air water and fire this is a balance in your relationship a soulmate balance uh, you know how uh, to heal each other magician and the mirror i mean do you imagine uh, what it means the mirror is actually somebody like you your uh, uh, your uh, your soulmate you know who feels like you you too might be you know very different but still very similar lives or you go through similar experiences guys this is a beautiful relationship and it is saying you know you mirror yourself uh, uh, you know uh, normally you're your true self in front of the mirror that's where you see the real you and I think uh, with this person also um, you do not uh, you know wear any masks or veils or whatever you really are are very uh, comfortable with that person and it's a beautiful connection i see a lot of wealth here i see abundance uh, right now coming to you and i feel 11 days next 11 days are also very important for you because whatever has happened has happened is another message that i get let's see what are the other messages right now it's all about thinking you know everything is in your head this is uh, shining this is glory with this one i get glory uh, freedom spotlight uh, a person who's healed a person who's ready to begin a new life and i don't know if you use the amethyst stone but i get a lot of amethyst stone because i'm seeing purple here I'm seeing the colors lavender. Maybe you like that smell or maybe you like the color. I also, uh, you know, get uh, balancing of chakras. I mean, total balance that I get in your uh, life. And uh, this is a very well thought through relationship or, you know, in the sense, you know, you put your uh, mind to the relationship as much as your heart. So it's a very balanced relationship uh, right now show uh, whatever action. There are a lot of eight also you're getting. There's an eight here. There's an eight here. 
though there is a five here there's a five here my god you're getting repeating numbers can you see this i do not believe it i did keep it under this without even seeing uh, the number guys this reading is really blessed and i was just not going to do this reading i was tired from work and everything a lot of uh, private readings but i was like somebody needs to know something you know guidance so the person you are with or whatever in your life whatever is happening it's beautiful it's destined so if you are going on a path and if you've chosen something there cannot be a more beautiful reading i mean till now now i've done loads and loads of readings on youtube and otherwise but this cannot i mean look at this this is uh eight eight somebody's mirroring your life somebody's just like you um you both go through the same it's a beautiful you know everything is uh, in tandem right now it's there is movement there is wealth can you see this is 11 this is also 11 so here you have you mirroring something and uh I really feel this is one of the best uh, readings that I've done and uh, probably it had to guide you or it had to give you a confirmation about a situation. I see there is a 5 here. So this is all about 5, 8 and 11. Those are the only numbers that I'm getting right now. So um, 5 and 5 are also 10 and uh, 10 is also 1. So this is beautiful guys. I mean uh, a lot of action is going to happen. Um, even when you, uh, you know, it's like uh, it's you and uh, your counterpart or your special person, even if you uh, move forward, you know, you will stop and then let the other person catch up. So you're really caring in the situation. You really care for the person. Um, and I feel a lot of movement happening, you know, in the next 11 days, a lot of things happen probably. Uh, I don't know why, but two lives are running uh, same, like parallelly or same things happening in two lives why did this card okay so all tied up this is another five uh, i was doing a private reading and a five came uh, up there and i said uh, be a little careful of number five because five might put you in a problem five could be an attachment with something you're not you know somebody you're not supposed to atta get attached to could be a job situation where uh, you know you want to do something else and um, you know you you want to get over with over with it because you've just uh, taken off the mask and you're like i'm not made for it you know or it could be a situation where you're done with the situation you're like this is not me and i cannot i cannot be someone else for you you know those are your words i get that too and uh you know with number five or uh with number five in the sense it could be somebody's birthday is number five or a month is five or five days from now this is how you're going to feel or these five days you're going to feel all tied up i feel you have the strength to break free you know look at this okay here's the strength Here's the strength. You got to break free because you know you are. It's like you're not doing enough to break away from this. You know you're you're okay. You're not applying all your strength. Is what I get. You know. It's like you're fine and you know you're not even uh, trying to free yourself because I do not see that struggle there to get yourself out of the ropes. That's what you're doing. So it, it's in your hands to uh, look at this, guys. Here's a five. Here's another five. And this five is opening new opportunities. So maybe um, this card could be that if you, um, you know, release yourself or if you release something that you're not supposed to be attached to anymore, you know, that's where the door opens for you. And you got to speak out, you got to speak up, you know, of what you about what you feel. And that's what Archangel Gabriel is saying. It's time to speak out or speak up and release this attachment it could be that also it could be two ways you know either release the attachment or it's like you know you and your soulmate's life are going parallelly or you know you're having the best time of your life so this story is going two ways so those were your messages and um, this is this is one of the most beautiful readings i've done so uh, i'm going to move on to the other pile so like uh, the next pile if you've chosen four 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 number of stability number of uh, foundations of uh, you know solid foundations of trust i would say trusting each other of good connections the one 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 reading was absolutely beautiful and divine let's see how this reading is sorry too many cards i'm not going to take that four 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 what are the messages let's see what are the messages do cards fall out or what are the messages four 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 
this came in the 11-11 also, the 3-11 uh, reading. This is beautiful. This is uh, solid foundations, wealth from land, wealth from selling land, wealth, I mean, whatever you're going to do is going to bear fruit, you know, and uh, your hard work is going to pay off. I feel, I feel next 14 days, I'm going to say 14, I'm not going to say 11, sun is going to shine, there's a ray of hope. I mean, this is, this is enjoying the best things in life. I mean, you could be buying a luxury item is another thing that I get. You could be investing in gold. You could be invest. You you could be investing in land. You could be buying. You could be buying a new car. I get also. I could see a. I could see car. I could see a car in my mind or car keys. You know something like that. Let's see what are the other messages. Okay, this almost flew from my hand. Look at this abundance. I mean, there is just abundance in your life. I mean, I was not doing this reading, but this is this is it. You needed this. I mean, you're going to do well. You know, whatever you're starting or whatever you put your money in or whatever, you know, you put your finger on or you're going to start something in business or anything that you're going for a new job or any idea of yours will create wealth. Look at this blossoming. I mean, this is a beautiful garden. You could be connected to nature in a way like or organic farming or something to do with organic recycling or caring about the earth. Or, or uh, I don't know why, but I'm getting paper bags in my mind. That's the visual I'm getting. But this is abundance. Um, you know, it's it's beautiful. And I'm going to say, uh, this is a lot of lot of money coming your way. You know, your ideas will be really uh, will bear fruit, or they're very different. They're very creative. And there is there is abundance. There is abundance coming in all all the way. I also feel transformation, some kind of a transformation with this card. So uh, now we've got 30, so the garden and the gate, how longing you are, uh, longingly you are waiting to do something. So this is um, an indication. If you wanted to do something different, if you want to take a risk, just cross that. You've got to open the door, you know. It's very easy to cross and go to the other land. Something else is calling uh, to you and you, I think, are contemplating, is deliberating here. I feel someone who's not sure, should I cross that side or should I just stay in this side? Could be in your uh, job situation that you're probably comfortable in a job and suddenly you got a job opportunity and you're like, will this uh, be really good for me? I'm comfortable here. Look at this. You're comfortable here. It's not that you know you uh, you're not comfortable but you're also looking at uh, the other pastures i mean is the grass is greener on the other side in a good way you know and it's calling out to you this is a new beginning or a new journey that's calling out to you and i can see flowers and flowers probably you love uh, you love you live near a house uh, with a lot of flowers or you like tending to a garden and you have got like a lot of flower pots with something to do with flower garden or or um, you know a lot of land around you uh, or pastures or I mean, are you a nature lover? You love nature. You like being outside. You like camping. And I told you, number four is a card is a number of foundation. And here you are. That's what you will get. A happy family life. That's what you want also. I mean, the most you want a good life. You want to give your family a good life. You're going to buy something for your family. You want to keep working so you can give a good life, a happy life to your family. All the riches. I mean, the finest things in life. That's how you operate. And that's what brings you happiness and the other person you know other person's happiness um you know you want to take care of other person's happiness in your in your uh, whoever is uh, important in your life you want to give them happiness you know uh, so this is a card where you are actually opening the gate and still looking back so this is i feel somebody is really unsure should i go that side even if you do take uh, you know uh, do take that step of opening the door and uh, going outside I, I feel you're doing something half-heartedly yeah that's the word that i got here and uh, that's the message for you looking back still at the past or looking behind what you leaving at uh, leaving behind probably attached uh, to something to someone not very sure to take that step i mean you almost uh, out of out of this place you know the old place and you really want to go that side but something is stopping you to you know to look back at and is stopping you in the tracks but this is re really i'm getting the feeling that this is the want to be on the other side you know to see what lies there you know and what's there in that side of the world and you know there, there is a bit of a scare also in the uh, heart that you know how would it be and should i i'm comfortable here should i leave it or should i go for it and will it be good for me so i'm i'm feeling a lot of indecision here definitely let's see what are the other messages what are the other messages for people who've chosen the pile number 444 the pile number 2 with 444 
so make that decision you know you will will have to do that because you either you cannot be you know in this side or you know you can't be it's like in both the boats you have to choose your boat you know what really where really you want to go what you want to do i think it's important for you to decide i'm not getting a message okay here's the message so uh, you want uh, more appreciation life probably you know or probably you're envious of somebody's lifestyle or somebody's envious of your lifestyle you want more appreciation appreciation i feel somebody wants more wealth look at this all the flowers are gardens you know garden 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 greenery outside a uh, blooming um taking the right pick or you're getting something but you're still not sure i mean you you miss something at the back it's like uh, with the handkerchief here i feel there is uh, with the handkerchief, I feel there is, you know, nostalgia somewhere attached to, uh, you know, thinking of old times, you know, I get, I told you there's an indecision, you're standing at a crossroad, here it is. I mean, you do not know where to go, this side or the other side. You know, probably you want to marry someone or this is, or money, or there's a fight between money and love. I mean, you do not know what's happening. There is indecision here, you know. I really feel friends supporting you right now. And if you're seeing someone, your friends and family will support you because I think the man is wealthy. Probably you could be seeing someone who's very focused and, you know, totally focused on wealth right now. Or it could be you, you know, it could be your reading that you're very focused on wealth, making money. Because all the cards that we saw were all about abundance, wealth and money and enjoying finest things in life. Maybe that's how the person is, somebody you're seeing. Let's see what are the other messages. Probably one more card here. I'm going to take this because this is victory for you. I mean, it's whatever you do, it's going to be a good outcome. I mean, there is victory. No matter which way you go, what route you take, there is there is victory. Do I get the second route? I do not really know what it means. Uh, <clears throat> remember, this is a general reading, so it's not necessarily what I said. These are mostly reconfirmations to what you've been thinking or the guidances you've been wanting. So I really feel the second, second way is better. But yeah, the second thing is better. But here, that's, that's your situation and you know better. But definitely this is victory in the end. You know, you will be victorious or... Uh, whatever, wherever you go, whatever you do, you know, uh, you but you have to take that step is what I get. I mean, that's that's the most important message here. Take that step. So thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed the reading. These are guidances for you and I'll be predictions for you and I'll be back with another reading. So thank you guys. Bye.